How's it going everyone? It's Dapper Dill and I'm making this video because I want to talk to you guys about YouTube and how I went about it. I'm going to give a little background. Back in middle school, I bought an Xbox 360, my first games I still remember. Dirt 2, one of my favorite games of all time, and NCAA 14, which I still have and it's kind of a rare game. It does sell for a good amount of money now. Uh, two very fun games and ever since then I'd be up all night playing games with my friends and I would go on YouTube and watch other people play games as well and it inspired me to want to create videos on my own with my friends and record our fun moments that we have that I thought would be really funny and good. So I'd buy an Elgato capture card, I'd hook it up and as soon as I start recording I'd almost just shut down. Now I'd get super nervous in front of the camera and it's just really difficult to be myself. I get really shy, almost like when you meet someone new for the first time. And so I sold the Elgato, and I did this about three or four more times where I would buy an Elgato capture card and buy another, or, or sell it. And not too long ago I bought one for PC, that it was the one that goes inside of the PC, hooks up that way to record Xbox as well, and I was like, oh, I'm not going to record enough, I'm not going to use it. Um, so I sold it, I returned it back to Amazon, and I, I always had the urge to try to create YouTube videos, but I was just so shy to do it, and I knew if I started and stuck with it, I would soon get past that part. And I ho hopefully I do start to get past that part, because right now I'm nervous just talking to a camera. And hopefully as I make more videos, I'll become less and less nervous. But the main reason I wanted to make this video is because I believe that I started making YouTube videos for the wrong reason. I wanted to create them just to... I, I've always been interested in creating videos, creating things. When I was growing up, I'd always be drawing cars on a notepad. Um, my own personal vehicle is very customized to how I like it. And I've always been interested in making content. But I've never really known how to go about it. And there's so many YouTube videos, so many personalities, it's hard to stand out and hard to be original. And I started making videos and I had the intention that I need to get views, I need to get viral, I need to um, put myself out there and gain views. And that's something that happens over time. It takes a very long time and a lot of patience, a lot of consistency and persistence. And just being... I was just being really impatient about it and I was creating YouTube videos for the views and recording videos like I hope people like this I hope it attracts an audience and that's not the right way to go about it at all um, what you really want to do which I should have done from the beginning is make YouTube videos that I wanted to that I thought were fun because I enjoyed making them not that I want other people to enjoy. If I start making YouTube videos that I enjoy making, then I can build an audience off of that and people will watch that enjoy my content as much as I enjoy creating and watching my own content. I don't want to create any videos that people aren't going to enjoy watching or that I'm not going to enjoy watching myself. So as of right now, I have a few YouTube videos up on my channel. I have plans for more and more videos and I'm gonna continue coming up with an I with ideas for more videos and make use of this nice camera I bought and get my money's worth from it. Main problem with making YouTube videos just for the views is it's it's a very easy way to get burnt out that you no longer want to create videos. If you really want to make videos, do it because you enjoy making them. And then that, that's re really when you're going to go far. That's when you're really going to be yourself. Like, right now, I'm, I'm nervous. And hopefully as I create more and more videos, I'll break out of my shell more and more. And I'll be more entertaining. Like, I feel like there's so much pressure to come right out and start producing great YouTube videos even when you're just beginning and just starting. And it takes time to really get used to it, really get good at editing and making good content, I believe. You're not going to start creating amazing YouTube videos um, overnight. 
I mean, I mean, it's definitely possible. I know I'm definitely not going to. I know there's probably people who can, and it comes easy for them. But for me, just beginning, it's really difficult. One major problem when it comes to making my videos is I'm very hard and very critical on myself. I'll record an entire video and I'll decide, no, nope, I don't think that's good enough, I don't like it. Um, and I'll just completely scrap it or the editing's bad or the audio is just a little bit off and I'll just, no, nope, get rid of it. And because I put this pressure on myself to put out the very, very best content I can, which still I, I don't think is good, I, I know it'll get better and better as I go on. I need to stop being so hard on myself and just enjoy what I'm doing. I, I feel like there's a lot of pressure to put out YouTube videos that compete with some of the top YouTubers like PewDiePie, Mr. Beast, Markiplier who have millions and millions of subscribers when that's not the case I'm just starting I'm just beginning I need to slow down take it easy and just start making videos that I enjoy making and another thing that puts a lot of pressure at least on me is the YouTube algorithm um, and whether or not any videos I create will ever, ever be seen. I know YouTube, they have bots that look at the title of the video, the pictures on the thumbnail, and will determine where the video should go and if it's appropriate or not for certain things. And I feel like there's so much that goes into it that is very overwhelming, especially if you're just starting out with YouTube. And if you don't know the ins and outs, which I'm still trying to learn for myself, watching YouTube video earlier today, and it is one of those. It, it wasn't cheesy, but it was like one of those inspirational videos. Like, don't be afraid to fail because then you'll never find your full potential. And I feel like with making YouTube videos, I'm so afraid to fail and not succeed that it's holding me back so much to where I'm super critical about myself, and I'm just kind of shutting down inside and just not even bothering with it like I, I'm not gonna get big nothing is gonna happen out of it and that's not something I should be worried about I shouldn't be worried about failing if I fail if I don't get views then so what what matters most is enjoying making the videos like with the ball prank and my friends and I we had so much fun doing that and we all got a great laugh out of it and Brie had a good time she's still finding balls in her car to this day and the video should be like that. You should just enjoy do doing it. Not not afraid of failure. Not afraid of um, not getting any views. I, I've barely put in many YouTube videos out there. And I'm already over 500 subscribers. And I know I can thank a lot of that for Brie and her following. And I know a lot of them come from her channel. And I feel like that's her audience and and not mine so i want to try to build an audience of my own i really appreciate everyone that has followed me i hope you do enjoy the content i will be making more videos with her but i i kind of feel like those subscribers are kind of just handed down to me and i, I want to like i said i want to build my own following something that people will enjoy like like gaming and goofy videos and car videos and me working on my car with that being said from now on I need to focus on making YouTube videos that I really enjoy making and just stop stressing and worrying about the amount of views I get and the amount of subscribers I have. Because when it comes down to it, I, I have a lot of time on my hands. I work full time, but I work two days a week, 24 hour shifts. So and I, I go to school as well, but I still have a bunch of time off where I can come up with YouTube videos and different ideas and even write scripts for different videos that require it and just really get that creative side out because I, I feel like I'm wasting a lot of potential if I don't go and make videos or get these ideas out that I have because I do feel like people will enjoy seeing some of the videos I have planned. I feel like I need to contribute to society more in a way whether it's making um, funny videos that people enjoy and lift their moods and spirits or how-to videos there's a lot I want to do with YouTube and uh, and I shouldn't rush it. it it'll take a lot of time and I need to enjoy what I'm doing 
that way I can produce quality content that people are going to want to watch. If you were able to get past my awkwardness and watch the video all the way through, I really appreciate it. If you have any ideas for videos that you want to see me make or Bree make, any video games you want me to play, I'll definitely play those. I, I love playing video games. I keep trying to get Bree to come and play some scary games because I know that'll be a lot of fun for the both of us. How do you do an outro to a YouTube video? I, I, every single one's the same, like, oh, thanks for watching, goodbye. It, it, it's so hard to come up with something original, at least for me. Uh, I, I'm sure it'll come with time. That being said, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you do see my videos come up being a smaller channel. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.